Hey everyone, this is Roy, and in this video, I'm going to share my views on how to prepare for Amazon interview. The like target for this video is 25 likes, so hit the like button. If you like more such content, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have an upcoming SD1 Amazon interview, make sure that you watch this entire video and don't skip a single part. So let's talk about the interview structure. So one, you have an online assessment, which can contain a data structure and algorithm questions on Hacker Rank or Hacker Earth. And you can also get another work style survey assessment, which would be closely tied to leadership principles. Second on-site round, after you clear the online assessment, you would proceed to the technical on-site round one. After technical on-site round one, you will go to two and you'll go to hiring manager. And then the last round, which would be the bar raiser, which is very important. And something that I would like to point out is that in every interview, you can be asked a leadership principle questions. These are behavioral questions that are asked to understand that you have used Amazon's leadership principles in your past experience and you can be a good fit in the Amazon culture. To make sure that you answer well for this type of questions, you need to prepare at least three to four projects per leadership principle. Now, there are 14 leadership principles at the time of making this video, so you need to prepare four projects into 14 leadership principles which is equal to 56 stories that shows that you have followed each leadership principle well don't worry it, it seems like a lot of work but once you get used to it it'll be much easier i'll be sharing a link in the description of a couple of websites that can help you make these stories part one technical interview these are the topics that you will be tested on data structures and algorithm you would be asked data structures and algorithm questions in tech round which is usually first two on-site rounds and the bar raiser round here the hiring manager round can also ask you data structure algorithm questions but that is in case the hiring manager is not confident in your dsa skills but majorly, you would be having two to three technical rounds only where your data structure and algorithm skills would be assessed. Two, low level design. Now, this is a maybe where if you have some experience in the industry, then you might be asked a low level design. Please ask your recruiter if you would be having a low level design round or if there's a possibility of getting a low level design question. So to prepare for low level design, there are websites like Refactoring Guru where you can learn design design patterns, anti-patterns, and I would also recommend you to watch the clean code video on YouTube by Uncle Bob. I'll share the link in the description below. And there is also a low-level design GitHub repository, which has a list of questions that are mostly asked in an interview. And it also contains some solutions of those questions as well. Part two, managerial round or the hiring manager round. This is one of the most important round since the hiring manager is the one who has the highest amount of control of actually rolling out an offer and mostly you would be working in their team or organization sometimes if the hiring manager feels that you deserve to be in a lower role they can pitch that as well so example if you're giving an sd2 role interview if the hiring manager feels that you are more suited for the sd1 role then they can give you an sd1 offer instead so make sure that you do really well in this round the hiring manager has a lot of power and make sure that you give a lot of good signal so brush up the projects that you have done in the past and prepare to answer behavioral questions like what is the most challenging problem that you have faced in the past how would your past manager rate you etc there is a good resource called the interview handbook which contains a list of behavioral questions that can be asked and how you can answer them i would highly recommend to answer them in a star format which is a situation task action result format you need to frame your responses into these four parts which will help the hiring managers to understand clearly bar raiser round now the bar raiser round is very important as well i can say that it is as important as the hiring manager round if you get a no hire in this round then you will not get an offer or have a very low chances of getting an offer since amazon has this bar raiser round to increase the bar of the engineers that enter amazon bar raiser rounds can have a veto power it has been said that the bar raiser makes sure that the engineers who which passes this round would be 50 percent better than the existing engineers in amazon for that role now sometimes the recruiter won't tell you who is the bar raiser in your entire interview process this bar raiser person can be in any of the rounds 
in the entire process. However, in Amazon India, I have seen that the recruiter genuinely tells the candidate who is the bar raiser and which round would it be so that they can prepare really well. Now, the bar raiser round can contain leadership principle questions or data structure and algorithm questions. Mostly, it would contain data structure and algorithm question for the SD1, but be prepared for anything, especially low level design. So now you know that there are two key rounds, which are the bar raiser and the hiring manager round. If these two round went really well then you can expect an offer from amazon if you like this video make sure you like and share to your friends who are currently studying for amazon interviews and do subscribe to my youtube channel for more such content